hi all so till the last video we created a post patch and delete http request and we also created a get request in index.js but it was very simple now i will create a another get request for taking a individual user data from the backend so now it's time to create that so for that i will again use a router and the endpoint will be slash username so let me code it first then i will explain it again we will get a data request and response and i will use my user schema to find the username in a database so i will use a find one method and in the find one method i will pass the parameter username it will find the username first then we will get a callback function in this callback function we will get two thing called error and result so if i will get an error then again i will send a status code 500 and the json data will be error you can watch this video on 1.5x because i'm writing a code so it will be slow so i will send a data if successfully i will find a username from the database that my data will be result i mean the user data will be sent over here right now inside the result we have a password field also so what i will do that i will remove that password field in a coming next video or else i will encrypt the password using npm packages now in the database i don't have any user because we deleted the username last time so at this time i am using the advanced rest client for the api testing you can use the postman also for the api testing but i am using the advanced rest client because it's look pretty and better than the postman for me only so let's test and get data from the database so so i am passing again a database tag 106 username I will send back then I'm getting a data null because I don't have any user on the database. So let's first we will add some data because in the database we don't have any user. So we already created a registered endpoint. So just post the data over the registered endpoint. and data will be sent back to the database here we will pass a new body and we will add a email over here and in the email i again set the email as a tvstack.com or else dev it the rate stack.com and password and username so let's send this data so we are getting a register i mean it's mean the data is successfully sent to the database now we can see that our database in the mongodb cli now it's time to implement login endpoint for login a user so the endpoint name will be login and the http request will be post and again it will take two parameter 
request and response and I will use the user dot find one again over here because we have to first find that user is inside the MongoDB or not we will find just copy this and paste it over here so it will find the user first if the user is inside the MongoDB then it will find that and if the username is matches then it will give a result so if result is null I mean if anything not inside the data in the MongoDB then we will send a JSON with the status code of 403 and the message call either username or password incorrect or we just send the uh, username is incorrect because if we will not find any username then the username is incorrect if we will find a result it means the the username we are sending or the API is found on the database it means that it's time to check the password also so if the password is same as the we send over the body password then we will send our response JSON ok but in the next video we will add here a JWT token logic because we have to send a token to the front-end developer after the successfully logging a user using that token we will get access of any user related data we will implement that on the next video so first let me send a response.json with the status code of 403 403 means forbidden and 500 means internal server error so password is incorrect because password is not matched into the database username so let me check it over here so for that we have to use the login api over here and post method in the body we have to send only two parameter first let me change this to the params to body because we are not getting a parameter to url we are sending the username to the body so let's delete the email we can also integrate email let's first send it and i am getting error that either username is incorrect maybe it's error let me check and first it change the username incorrect so let's check on a console that why i am getting an error let me go on npm the app was crashed before because something region but now let's send it again now it's working we are getting a message called ok so what was the error so let's test again some other data because now the server is working and everything is fine so if I will change a password then what will we will get a data that password is incorrect or if we again send a one two three four five then we are getting a okay if we change the username to one zero two then we are getting that username is incorrect it means that api working according to our need so over here 
we will send token in the next video we will implement the token we will implement the JWT token logical over here and send back to the token in the response dot data but we can see that we are getting a error called password is incorrect it's not getting a password so what we can do that we just have to send return over here because if we, uh, result is null and we will return over here and we will get an error then we will return over here also so it will not come inside another if condition let me send it back again and username is incorrect and the error message is gone again i am saying that please watch it on a 1.5x because i am explaining very slow because of writing a code so so the task of this video is completed let's meet on the next video thank you and happy coding